Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Z Code Sports Systems. If you are a first time viewer, uh, welcome to our, our site. And if you're not already a member, please join the uh, VIP club section, which I'm going to be using right here. It really is a very good way to uh, make your predictions. And what we do here is we develop automated systems to help you win big, not just win big in one sport, in any sport, and every single week that you decide to bet. So as we enter the final month of the Major League Baseball season, the pennant races are really heating up, particularly in the wild card race, as every series is vitally important. So we have some several key matchups that we want to go over here for the weekend of August 30th to uh, September the 1st. I'm going to scroll down through here, and as we do so, you will see some of the games. And we're going to take a look at the Milwaukee Brewers and the Chicago Cubs first. You can see right now the Brewers are ice cold down. They have lost their last two. After coming off a three game winning streak, the Cubs are average up and they have lost their last three after winning their previous three. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that they are both even at plus 17. And in the division standings, they are very close as well. The Brewers are third and the Cubs are second in the NL Central. So both teams are still battling for a wild card spot. And you can see here I made some comments. And if you want to look down through the comments, you can see right here there's a whole bunch of comments. And also, as the week goes on, there should be more people putting comments. You can just see what other people have to say about this matchup. Um, you want to look at the totals predictor to see if betting the over-under is the best thing to do. You can see the red line is under compared to the blue line. So that means that Milwaukee is playing in games trending under. The Cubs also, you can see the red line compared to the blue line also under. So it's best to bet under in games in this series. If we look at the volatility oscillator, this shows how stable the two teams are. The Cubs are a much more stable team at plus 19 compared to plus 5. And what this means is the Cubs are winning more consistently when they are favorites and losing more consistently when they are underdogs. So take that into consideration when placing your bets. If we look at the pitcher profit oscillator, and I will show you a little bit of that more with another matchup, but the pitcher profit oscillator shows their profit margin for the pitching. The starting pitchers, uh, for this series, the best matchup is Zach Davies for the Brewers on Saturday versus Cole Hamels. Both of them are extremely profitable at plus 1336 for Davies and plus 1562 for Hamels. So that's going to be the best matchup for the series. The worst, uh, as far as the profit margin goes, is Hugh Darvish. He's at minus 1750, so he is not a very good bet. In fact, he's a very poor bet for the Cubs on Sunday. So, but even because of that poor bet, it doesn't matter. The Cubs are the better team at home compared to the Brewers. The Cubs should be able to hold as far as the home field advantage goes and take two out of three games in this series. We go down through here to the Mets and the Phillies. Another, another very good matchup for the National League wild card picture. Both teams are still battling for that second wild card spot. The fourth place Mets take on the third place Phillies. You see the Mets right now uh, burning hot. And you can see here as we try to show you the games here lately for them. And for some reason it's not coming up very well. Um, but here we go. Now they have lost their last three, but they have come off a three game sweep over the Indians before that. So you can expect that Burning Hot stats to change actually because they have lost their last three, but it still says Burning Hot that is likely to change. The Phillies here are average at the moment, they have won four out of their last six. They're coming off a win against the Pirates, 6-5. to five. Go down through here. We take a look at the power rankings indicator. You will see that both teams are trending downward. The Mets have a slight 16-14 to 14 edge over the Phillies in that department. If you look at the totals predictor, over, under, well, the Mets are playing in games trending under. The Phillies are playing in games trending under as well. So what does that mean? That means that the best thing to do is to bet the under for games in this series. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator and which team is more stable. Well, again, they're relatively even. You're almost identical. The Mets are at plus 21. The Phillies are at plus 22. They're both performing fairly, consistency, uh, fairly consistently excuse me, according to their favorite underdog status. Now, let's take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator. I was telling you about that before. If we take a look at that, what you do is you put in the, the pitching matchups. It's a really good tool here. Go down here, you see the Phillies and the Mets. So it's Marcus Stroman in the one game. This is the Saturday matchup. Actually, it's a Sunday matchup. Marcus Stroman versus Jason Vargas. So you can go down here to the Phillies, you see all their pitchers, and you can scroll down through here, 
and put in Jason Vargas as he is going to be facing his former team. And we go down through here and we see the pitcher profit margin. You can see here, according to the black line, this is Vargas way up there at plus 1,921. And Strowman is way down here at minus $1,193. You can see the huge difference of 3114 in favor of Vargas. So that is a very strong bet for the Phillies on Sunday, Vargas over Strowman. Uh, Aaron Nola is also a very good bet for the Phillies at plus 504, while Zach Eflin at minus 1,008 is a very poder bet. Zach Wheeler is mod moderately uh, profitable at plus 54. He is going on Friday. Overall, I see the Phillies being able to take care of the Mets. They will increase their margin over them and stay well in the playoff chase. We go down through here. This is another great matchup. The A's against the Yankees. The A's are second in the AL West. The Yankees are tops in the AL East. If we want to look at their status at the moment, they're both average. And you can see here the A's have lost uh, two out of their last six. They're coming off a big 19-4 win over the Royals. The Yankees are also average. They have won three out of their last four and three and three over their last six. Power ranking indicator. Again, you can see what's happening here. The Yankees, after going down to plus 19, they're back up on an upward trend. They're at plus 24. The A's have been going downward slightly there at plus 22. And we go down through here. The totals predictor over under. Again, you can see the A's are playing in games trending under. And the Yankees were in playing in games trending over, but they are in a downward spiral in their games. Playing in more low scoring games lately. They're at minus two. So they're both under. So I say that betting the under is the best play for the games in this series. Let's take a look here at the volatility oscillator. And when we do that, you can see that the A's are moderately stable at plus 14, but the Yankees are extremely stable at plus 39. Being at home and being likely fair, this bodes well as far as for betting for them in the games in this series. Take a look at one more thing, the pitcher profit oscillator. Uh, if you look at that, you will see that Domingo German at plus 845, J.A. Happ at plus 861 are very good bets for the Yankees on Saturday and Sunday. Homer Bailey is a terrible bet for the A's on Saturday at minus 2,976. But Mike Fires is the best bet of anyone in this whole series on Sunday for the A's at plus 2,176. So that they are probably a very solid bet on Sunday. But I think the Yankees overall will take two out of three playing at home. We'll take a look at one more matchup here. At least one more. Maybe there's two more here. Let's take a look. We'll scroll down through here. You can see there's all kinds of games for this weekend. So if you're interested in any of these games, you take a look and place your bets accordingly. But I'm interested here in the Dodgers and Diamondbacks in the National League West. The Dodgers have the top team in baseball, despite uh, just going 5-5 five and five over their last 10. You can see what they have done here. They lost their last two, and actually three out of their last four. They are averaged down. They should get back on track. Um, you can see the Diamondbacks ice cold up. They had lost three out of their last four, but they have won their last two. So they are trending back in the right direction. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers are a stable 27. Arizona is down here at plus 12. Considering the over-under, again, the best thing to do is look at the totals predictors, as we've always been doing. You see the Dodgers are playing in games trending well under, and Arizona is well, so betting the under again, seems like the under is the thing this weekend. That is the best bet in this series. If you look at the volatility oscillator once again, you will see the Dodgers are extremely stable at plus 39. Take that into big consideration when uh, betting in games in this series because they are, even though they're playing on the road, they're probably going to be favorites in at least some of these games. So please take that in mind when you look at betting in these games. Okay, so the pitcher profit oscillator, you will see on Saturday, this is the key matchup here. And the big one, if you want to bet for the Dodgers, Kershaw at plus 1,382 for the Dodgers on Saturday versus Robbie Ray, who is at minus 1,583, bet on the Dodgers in Saturday's game. And the other two games are relatively toss-up according to the pitcher profit oscillator goes. The Dodgers are the better overall team, best team in the league. They should win two out of three on the road.
We have one more matchup to take a look at here. It's the Red Sox and the Angels. The Red Sox right now are averaged down. You can see they have lost uh, three of their last six, coming off a 3-1 loss to San Diego. The Angels are just, what can you say But the Angels? They have been playing very poorly, as you can see here. Losers at their last five. Their status is dead. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see a wide advantage for Boston at plus 21 on an upward trend. Angels continuing on a downward trend only at plus six. And if you look now at the over under in this series, the, the teams are trending on, on opposite sides of the line on the total predictor. So avoid the over under in games in this series. If we look at the volatility oscillator, who is the most stable team? Most well, surprisingly, I, well, maybe a surprise. Uh, neither team is extremely stable. Well, they're moderately stable at plus 14 and plus 12, but not among the best in the league. So, you know, take their favorite underdog stats lightly. The pitching matchups, Rick Porcello at plus 1,358 on the uh, pitcher profit oscillator is a great bet over Andrew Haney on Sunday. Uh, Brian Johnson, again, for Boston on Saturday at plus 702 is a great bet over Jaime Barria at minus 257. And actually, the, Angel, the Angels will have a tough time winning a single game. Uh, Boston will win the series. They will win at least two. They very well could sweep the series. So there you have it for this week. Again, if you haven't uh, already joined, please join up. You can take advantage of using this VIP club section. Use all the tools that you need to make your bets. Enjoy the week, and we will see you next weekend.